it catches people's eye. They see something and they actually visualize themselves living there and other people coming by and seeing that curb appeal. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. That's the idea behind curb appeal, what potential buyers see when they pull up to your home for sale. Does it matter? Ask an agent. At the end of the day, they're telling their friends, this is the house I'm under contract for. What are their friends going to do? Google it. Look in the Google Maps picture, assess the house, judge them accordingly. The trick is to make your house look as good as possible for as little as possible. But even if your budget is teeny, there's still some great things you can do. For example, removing clutter doesn't cost a thing. Next, the front door. It should be clean and freshly painted. Any peeling house paint also has to be fixed. Old light fixtures can also date a house. Clutter can also apply to plants. Like the interior of the house, sometimes less is more. Bottom line, when it comes to curb appeal, all you really need to do is imagine you're the buyer pulling up to a house for the first time. Then use whatever budget you have to make that experience as pleasant as possible. Now what you need is more tips and links. They're both waiting for you at moneytalksnews.com. Just do a search for curb appeal. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson.